713 News legal expert and University of Houston professor Edgar Colon offers this advice about dissolving a company. Before we have discussed the creation of a company, today we're going to talk about how to dissolve the company. Why dissolution? Well, you can have a voluntary dissolution approved by the shareholders and by the board and not have to go through bankruptcy. Sometimes that is a better alternative because of the consequences uh, to your credit report if you go into bankruptcy. As a dissolution, however, it means dissolving the entity, which means that you have to stop doing business and the only thing that you're going to do is uh, winding up the affairs of the company in order to dissolve. For that, you have to uh, file documents with the Secretary of State and you're also going to have to send a notification, a letter by certified mail, return receipt requested, to all the creditors of the company, letting them know that the company is going to be dissolved. This is probably a good alternative if the company, if you, as a shareholder or as a director or as an officer, if you have not signed a personal guarantee uh, guaranteeing the indebtedness of the company. Why? Well, because if uh, if you have a uh, personal guarantee, then the uh, banks or the creditors are going to sue you in your personal capacity anyway, and there is a good chance that you may end up having to file for bankruptcy anyway. So if you do not have a uh, personal guarantee, then it may be easier for you to dissolve, voluntarily dissolve uh, the company by taking the uh, corporate actions required and filing the documents with the Secretary of State. Mind you, you're still going to have three years. The process of actually dissolving the company after you file the uh, notice with the Secretary of State is going to last for three years, meaning that other people may file claims uh, against the, the entity. However, in that process, you would have more control than if you go to bankruptcy because a trustee will be the one managing the affairs of the winding up of the company. Thank you, Edgar. In his next report, Professor Cologne tells you all about filing for a trademark. You can see more of Edgar Cologne's stories right here on 713 News, the magazine show, and at 713news.com.